In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a super realistic ship in Fortnite LEGO mode. It can turn, sail fast, and has a cargo hold. Plus, I'll demonstrate how to make it fly. Watch video closely and to the end so as not to miss all the building secrets and important details. Put two large foundations to make a flat surface. On top, we will place three active platforms, and on them, we will put a long foundation indenting two studs from the edge. Now we need to put the small wooden foundation blocks exactly as I show. I ask you to observe the order in which they are placed and magnetized to the desired surfaces. Each block we kind of magnetize to the previous one and slide it two studs. Now let's install three more tiers of long foundations on each side, making an offset of two studs. The next important step is to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on the new models and amazing designs. For instance, I've already demonstrated how to build a tank, an airplane, a helicopter, and much more. Continue placing small blocks of wooden foundation, magnetizing each block to the previous one, and sliding it two studs. Do this for each tier installed. Accuracy in placing the blocks is necessary for a pleasing appearance of the ship, but is not necessary. Just sometimes, a block may deviate a millimeter to the side, or be a little higher. Now let's make the back of the ship. Put three blocks of foundation to each tier as well as on the bow. and these finishing blocks will go only one stud forward. I put two color matched floor lengths of eight studs to make it look a little bit better. Now we make the deck of the ship. You can make it any way you want. The main thing is to cover the whole space, except for a small passage. Under the deck, there will be balloons to give the ship buoyancy, and we can also put there the engines. Install the small balloons in the front. I put eight of them, but then we'll have to add another 10 additional balloons here. To cover this area, Let's finish the deck. In the remaining space, we will put any fence with eight studs length. I put 12 small balloons under the stern. Let's make a superstructure over the stern. It will house the room with rotary and main engines. As a result, the transition from the stern to the superstructure should look like this, but you can make your own shape. Close this passage. Now I recommend repeating after me because this is where we will install the steering system. It is important to magnetize the wooden foundation 05 to the wooden foundation 07. To the installed foundation 05, we magnetize one more of each of these foundations. Now we will install the four tiers of the small foundation like this. Let's demolish the three lower tiers of the foundation. Cover the remaining space except for the holes for the steering system. Here we'll put
put any floor fence or beam of suitable length. Now let's move on to the installation of the turning system. Install the blocks and engines with activators strictly as I show. The Foundation 05 should fall into the hole made but it can get stuck. For this case, there is an engine on top. Activate it and push the Foundation 05 in different directions to get it in the right place. Small engines are mounted top to bottom on these blocks of Foundation 05. Add 14 more balloons to the room in the superstructure, and after that we'll install the main engines. Put the turn activators in a convenient place. Now let's launch the ship into the water. To do this, temporarily place large balloons to raise the ship above the ground. You can try just pushing the ship into the water with engines or start building directly on the water, but these are less safe and convenient methods. We can see the roll of the ship. To correct this, we add 10 more balloons to the front under the deck. For the deck edge fence, I chose medieval railing. It is convenient because it is only two studs long, and it looks pretty nice. You can install any fence you want, or not, it doesn't affect anything. At a distance of eight studs from the superstructure, we'll install floors that are eight studs long on each edge and put a ladder and fence on them. With two studs away from the stairs in the center, we will put five round log pillar 02s on top of each other. This will be the mast. From above, we will set any Goriantony supports and place small balls on them so that the ship did not fall on the side. I made the sail from horizontal pillars and white walls. You can make any shape and use any material. It remains to add the fence to the superstructure. You can add decorative elements. The main thing is not to put the fence and decorative elements close to the steering system. The realistic ship in LEGO Fortnite is ready. We can add more engines under the deck to make the ship faster.
To turn the ship, activate the lever you want to use. To make the ship fly, we need to add more balloons under the stern and on the mast. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I would appreciate your likes and subscriptions. See you in the next videos.